In this project, I'm gonna do another lamp. The structure will be made of wood, and the wood and the wood is nothing special. I buy it from the home center. One of the most common issues I have with these uh, batons that I buy from the home center, they are not exactly the, the same uh, size. So I made this jig that will bring everything to size and I'm gonna use my old Stanley block plane that will slide on the on those little rails. Some rough cutting of the 45 degrees. And then I'm gonna use this uh, shooting uh, sanding block, I think it's called, from Veritas. Uh, the reason is that um, as this is soft wood, it's a little more, more fragile. Very simple 90 degree clamps. So in the clamp, as you can see, I put some M3 inserts. So then, so then I can use thumb screws to, to fix them in place. So I'm gonna use uh, very lightly descending proxon machine to attach the shoji paper on the structure. I'm gonna use a uh, rice glue. This rice glue is very easy to, to work with. It dries very fast and it's very specific for the shoji paper. The process is quite simple. You just uh, try to put the paper as uh, straight as you can. Once the glue is dry, you can add a few uh, sprays of water and the shoji fibers will contract and everything will be very, very nice and flat and tight. So now for adding the geometric uh, patterns, uh, I did try to do it by hand, but uh, with no success and I gave up. But uh, unfortunately, these days you have the option to buy these uh, home use cutter plotters quite simple to use if you don't forget the cutting mat. For the glue up, uh, I'm gonna use a roller. I think this roller, they are used for the wallpapers. The reason is that with this uh, roller, I'm gonna spread very uniformly the glue. Once I have all the sides, now it's I'm gonna go into the details and I'm gonna cut um, on the edge. I want to show a little bit of wood and I also want the, the edges to be very clean. So that's why I'm gonna use this marking gouge from Veritas. It works very nice. And here you can see uh, the benefits that I was saying about the rice glue. If you add a little bit of water, it's very easy to, to take off the, the paper. So I think the, the light creates these very nice shadows for the finishing touches, I'm gonna use again a block plane just to take uh, just to take some of those uh, uh, the sharp edges. I already know what light fixtures uh, I want to use. Um, the lamp is very uh, light, so this light fixture that I'm using is made of ceramic and also has a nice textile cable, so I think it works perfectly uh, for this type of lamp. So I think the lamp, the end project, looks uh, quite nice. Um, in the daylight, the shoji paper and uh, the shadow that creates the pattern is more subtle, so I think it fits more with uh, with what you have in your home. In the nighttime, when the light is on, I think the pattern becomes more obvious and it looks like a different uh, a different object in your home. 
overall I'm happy how it came to be. If you liked the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I'm gonna see you in the next one.